What you're going to need for this craft, of course, is a pumpkin, and you're going to need five wooden spoons and also a spatula. I actually found these at my local thrift store. The larger ones, I'm going to go and paint orange, and the smaller ones, I'm going to paint yellow. So after these are all painted, go and move on to the spatula. I'm using an off gray color, and after the gray has dried, I'm going to go and start to paint on a beak. And after the beak has been painted down, then you can go and paint your gobbler. Then go and paint some eyes. I use this fork that I painted as well to give my turkey just some little hair and make him look cute. I'm going to go and use a regular pumpkin carving tool, making sure that my wooden spoons will fit. So I cut out this piece and made sure it all fit. Two orange in the back and one yellow in the middle. And then I gave the turkey a little tie. I brought my pumpkin outside. You don't have to bring this pumpkin turkey outside though. You can always use it to decorate your fall tables. So I've just taken some floral wire and I'm gonna go ahead and find the center of my pom-pom. Put a little dab of glue in there. Poke the end of the wire right into the middle of the pom-pom. I'm gonna loop it back here and then I'm gonna start bringing my sunflowers right around the tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a second one and just keep going around the tree. It's time to add those super fun pom-poms. The last thing I wanna do to finish off my tree is make a little bow for the top. And I'm gonna use this burlap ribbon and fluff it out a little bit and I'll attach that with a piece Piece of floral wire right in the middle. I hope this has inspired you to pull out your Christmas tree early and decorate it for fall. I grabbed a couple of these garden dishes from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take them out and spray paint them. Picked up several of these styrofoam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to pull the stems off. I'm going to take my green paint, I'm going to do just a little veining down the indentations on my pumpkin. Put our brush in the orange paint and pull it down over that veining but it's just gonna soften those lines. I am going to start by gluing one pumpkin down to stick one of these little stems back in here. I'm just gonna take one of these skewers, cut that and stick it. Go back in with our glue and secure it. And then I'm gonna add one more pumpkin to the top. I'm using low temp glue because this styrofoam will melt. I'm adding candy corn to the bottom. We have pumpkin placemat and everybody gets a little jar full of candy corn. Head to Dollar Tree and pick up some of those styrofoam pumpkins and make some of these for yourself for these holidays. I'm going to start with this styrofoam plastic pumpkin and I'm going to rip off the stem and then I'm going to take this orange canvas like material and I'm going to wrap up my pumpkin. I'm going to take this styrofoam cone and I am going to cut it. I'm just going to trace around on some black canvas fabric and then I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to cut a long piece that is going to wrap all around the sides. With that all glued in place then I'm going to take the top pieces and I'm going to glue around the top and I'm going to fold that in. So I'm going to add the glue to the circle that we cut out and then I'm going to just place that right over top. And then I'm going to take a T-plate. I'm just going to trace out another circle. I'm going to cut out two and glue them together. I'm going to cut a slit in the middle of the brim of my hat and I'm going to push the barbecue skewer through and then poke the top hat portion of our hat onto the stick as well. I'm going to take some fancy orange ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around. I am going to take some gold Christmas ribbon and I'm going to cut out a square and I'm going to glue that on as well. I'm then going to take a piece of faux fur and I'm going to cut it to fit on the body of my gnome. I'm going to put my hat in place first and then I'm going to secure the fur beard in place just under the brim of the hat. Then I'm going to take a wooden bead for the nose, glue that in place, and then I cut out an, an extra U-shaped piece of fur and I work that under the nose as a little mustache, add a little glue under the hat to secure it to the nose. Then I'm going to take this feather garland and I'm going to cut off a piece that is the size of the back of my nose and then I'm going to glue that in place. I also picked up these realistic looking turkey feathers to add some depth and dimension to our gnome. Our turkey gnome is complete. I think this project turned out so cute. I went to Walmart and I found this beautiful tool. Here is our dollar store foam frame. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pieces of cut tool and tie it in a slip knot right on top of this. So we're gonna come back in with each color. We have the yellow, we have orange, black, and red. And we're gonna just alternate between each. So let's repeat that layer over and over again. And if there's anything sticking too far out, you can always just trim it up. So I'm gonna take the black tool. We're gonna just fold it over a little bit. And this is the back of the wreath. We're gonna take a few floral pins and insert them. Then what you can do is you can start wrapping it with this beautiful black tool. We're gonna do one final wrap, cut off the excess, and then I'm gonna flip it over 
create a little ball with all of that excess tool, take some floral pins and poke them right in. Now we have mini styrofoam balls and we're gonna use these for the eyes. Then we also have some of these googly eyes. Grab my glue skillet, dip a little toothpick in it and poke that right into the styrofoam. Then we can take another toothpick, grab a little more hot glue and create your little eyes. So I glued two toothpicks right into the base, take our styrofoam head and poke it right inside. Now we have our cute little eyeballs and we're just gonna poke them in. So now we have some yellow ribbon and we're just gonna cut off a little section of it and we'll just roll it up into a cone. Take a toothpick with a little hot glue on it and then wait for that to dry. We're just gonna apply some hot glue and we'll just place some. Cut off a little bit of red yarn and that's gonna simulate the waddle and place it on. And here's how our tool turkey turned out. I think it turned out so stinking cute and it was so incredibly easy to make. I picked up these three little wooden crates. So I've mixed up some brown milk paint that you just want to water down. And I want to make sure that I paint all sides and the inside. While my little crates are drying, the paint are these little gourds and pumpkins that I picked up at the dollar store. So I'm just going to take some of this pearl metallic paint and I just want to kind of brush it all over these just to tone this down a little bit. To hold these crates together, I'm just going to put some hot glue on the ends and I'm just going to slide them together and hold them while they dry. I want to add some of this beautiful ribbon that I found. So I've gone ahead and made a little cut in the end just to make this a little nicer. So I'm just going to start by attaching the straight end to the, to the one side. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, attach this down and around the end. And then we're going to go to the other side. I want to go ahead and put a little bit of floral foam in each one. I'm just going to take my knife, mark off where this would hit the top, and I'm just going to trim it a little bit shorter than where that is. And I'm just going to use a serrated knife and cut right down. I'm going to put a little bit of the hot glue, just a couple dabs down at the bottom, and that will hold my piece of foam right down there in place. So now we've got our flora foam inside the crates and it's time to start filling those crates with some fall flowers. And don't forget we have those little gourds and pumpkins that we added the white pearl to and we can add those in as well. And once you have this with a nice amount of things in here, you want to grab some moss to finish this off. These little crates were perfect to turn into a fall centerpiece. It was quick and easy and I absolutely love how it turned out. Here we just have some leftover burlap fabric. Here what we have is one of our 12 inch grapevine cones. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it in the corner and wrap it really tightly. So here we have the back side of the cone that we just wrapped. And I'm gonna take a little bit of florist wire. You can also be using beige pipe cleaners. And what we're gonna do is just feed that through and temporarily secure it like that. For the bottom half, what we can do is we can fold it over so it looks like a brim. So like we did up top, we're gonna secure a piece of wire. Then what we can do is make sure you have a long enough piece of wire. You want it long enough where you can twist it really nice and secure. And then take that wire and poke it right back into whatever you're designing. So now that piece is really secure, so we don't have to come back in with hot glue there. But we are gonna come back in with a little over here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of hot glue, and I'm using my glue skillet. I'll place a piece of hot glue there, and then we'll just hold that for a minute or two. So these are oak leaves. Feel free to use maple leaves as well. We're gonna snip about two or three inches off of each stem. So here we have our cone again. We're gonna just dip our stems in our glue skillet. So we're gonna just take it, work it in with a generous amount of hot glue, and make sure you feel that contact with the, the cone. That's what's gonna keep these in place, you guys. You wanna make sure that you can feel it pull on the, the grapevine uh, so it stabilizes it. So we're just gonna come back in with another piece. So that's with three. Feel free to use however many you want. I do have a little bit of leftover greenery and we're gonna use this to enhance the top of our hat. So I'll just dip these in my glue skillet come back with another little piece just as an accent like that and I think that just added a perfect little touch above the hat. So here I have some ribbon and I'm just going to cut it into a little piece and create a little patch. So we'll just take a little bit of hot glue using a scrap stem and we'll just put a little patch on him. So we'll just take this little patch and come back in the opposite direction. We'll do it like that and I think that looks really cute. So now it's time to come back in with the nose and the nose we're going to use one of our ornaments. You can also take a styrofoam ball and paint it. So as you can see, the glue doesn't look the best, but it still works nonetheless. So I'll just poke his nose slightly underneath the hat like that. And look at how cute this is. So to create a hanger, we're gonna just flip the decoration over. We're gonna take a pipe cleaner. And since our fabric is secured, we're just gonna feed this through. And I actually just went through the grapevine there, which is going to make it even more sturdy. Snip off the excess 
and there you have a hanger. So let's hang this up and show you the finished reveal. And here is how the gnome turned out. I think he turned out so adorable. And this was very inexpensive to create.